Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a crazy sport. Holly Holm's amazing. She is. I think as a, as a person, mm-hmm. I've never met her, but she just she's seems the sweetest like, person ever. She seems really sweet, and she just seems like I was listening to her interviews, you know. It's just, man, she seems just like a really uplifted, genuine person, you know, a super humble, you know. She really is, which is one of the weirder th- moments. Why it was such a weird moment, rather, when uh, Ronda Rousey at the weigh-ins was like, you fucking bitch, you're, so, you're a fucking fake, and yeah. she was in her face, and, and it was weird. It yeah, was like, yeah, where's yeah. this, it was like almost like she wanted her to be the enemy, yeah. so that she could get amped up to kick her ass, uh, and so she was saying a bunch of things that didn't even make sense. Maybe Ronda was kind of at a breaking point, too, just as far as like workload, mm-hmm. stress level, um, expectations, you yes. know, um, obligations, and when I saw that weigh-in, actually, I, I watched that probably at least five times. Like I just replayed it because I like to watch people um, interact and how they react. Mm. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed like when I saw that, I'm like, oh, Holly's got this. And I wish I'd fucking bet money. <laughs> <laughs> I totally wish I did. But I was watching that. I was like, oh. You just thought because R- Rhonda seemed so emotional. Um, it, it was the way Holly reacted. That's why. Mm. It, she just she just like Rhonda came in her space. Holly just like um, stepped back, like kept proper distance, you know, mm-hmm. like defensive distance. Um, super, super low key. Watch her reaction. Yeah, she stayed calm for sure. Yeah. That's that's skinny Rhonda too. That's way in Rhonda, which yeah, is like she's again? depleted. Yeah. Yeah, she was kinda She was depl look how much different Wait, she so looked when they, she was weighing in. But they They yeah. tied up and, and Holly didn't give any ground either. Uh-uh. She's just like she stayed calm. She she backed up, but like she backed up like I'm ready to hit you. Mm-hmm. Backed up. She didn't back up like uh and then so Rhonda was a super like emotional too she was funny she was like i was just trying to get a drink yeah i just thought i was having a drink i don't know yeah yeah it was great and then ronda was like I just, I don't, I don't, yeah. and she was super I'm just, right i think and you never saw her like that you're like what the fuck yeah yeah i think was, you nailed it as far as the breaking point yeah she got sucked into all the Hollywood bullshit. Mm. They were putting her in movies and TV shows, and yeah. she was on different talk shows. What is the doing hype to like? So oh, could interviews. she beat Cain Velasquez? Could she? You know, and it's like, <laughs> oh my God, look what she's doing to these women. Could she? Remember that? Right. Yeah. There's like, right. Yeah. Wow. Was, they created. Well, like, she was a, a huge, superstar. Like, you know, look, I was a part of it. She still is. I mean, she is now, yeah, but the, she's, she's now still a superstar. Now she's a WWE superstar. It's just a different kind she of superstar. Come back. You think she should? Yeah. What makes you say that? Like, don't go out like that. This is Miriam talking, though. It's a different person. <laughs> oh, she just. She deserves better than to go out the way, you know, her last fight. Well, she deserves she's, exactly she's, what she got. She's. No, no. This just, is what I think. She's better than that. I think you're right. I think you're right that she's better than that. I'm not saying, oh, it's bad that she got punched like that. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying she, she does, she deserves better than that to like represent herself better than her legacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that. I don't think that matters to her as much as it matters to other folks. I think she really cemented her legacy as one of the greatest Mm. women's MMA champions ever and a pioneer. But I also think that women's MMA has evolved so fast. That within the brief time that she was running shit, the sport passed her by. And when mm. you see the, the one that I was always worried about with her was Amanda, because I was like, Amanda Nunes has a black belt in Brazilian jiu jitsu and nasty hands. Like to me, and judo too, right? Um, I think she has some judo. I don't know what her her ranking she's is. She's not in judo. belted in judo. I don't know. She could be. Okay. Um, but I know she's a black belt in jiu jitsu, and I know she had heavy hands. Mm. And my thought was that Ronda. Although she was developing good striking skills, she's known for her judo and her arm bars. That's her big thing. Mm-hmm. And the striking skills were sort of like something that was happening along the way. And she was starting to catch girls, but she was catching girls like Betch Cohea and, you know, and Alexis and, Davis. Yeah. But, yeah. And, and beating them down when she gets them down. They're not nearly on the level of an Amanda Nunes. Like, you're not going to yeah. catch her like that. Or and Holly if she, Holm. Right, exactly. Yeah. And my thought was that if. 
if it was going to go down, it was going to be Amanda because Amanda just hit so fucking hard. Yeah. And then, so when she came back and immediately fought for the world title against Amanda. She needed a gimme. Fuck yeah. She needed, well, she needed a different camp. And I think that's fair. She needed a lot. She needed a revamping of her approach. She needed a lot of things. Yeah. She needed a lot of things because people knew, first of all, she never shoots for doubles. She's not taking you down with a lower body attack. It's always upper body. And it's always a clinch. And she clinches with her left arm. I mean, Greg Jackson huh. and Jackson Winklejohn, they all figured that out. And yeah. Holly had the solution for that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and also this other thing is when you get fucking head kicked into oblivion that way, yeah. like you need a lot of time off, you a lot of time with the no sparring, no nothing. Especially just being so high, like being so untouchable and high mm -hmm. and then getting coming crashing down to earth like that. It's a rough. That's a definitely like a, a big who am I moment, I think. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, like you were talking the whole world about, too. Right. But you were talking about you trying to figure out who you are when you couldn't train anymore. Yeah, and I had that on such a, like... Small scale. A private scale. Right, private, private scale. And hers Large was... Large personally, but private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hers is the world. Yes. And, like... And, the whole and, world. And uh, mine was, like, more tragic, and hers was more humili humiliating, mm. you know? How was yours more tragic? Um, it happened in the third round of a fight, a uh, world title fight, MMA. Um, it wasn't a clear, like it happened on a takedown. It wasn't a takedown that twer twerked or tweaked my knee or grabbed on my knee or it was, um, I pushed against them while my body was like this, um, parallel to the ground mm -hmm. and, uh, I tore my own ACL. Yeah. So it was like, why is that more tragic? Um, because it was you. more like, no, 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 no. Um, I think it's more humiliating to get knocked out in my opinion to get knocked out sure than it is to get like injured out like like tear yeah. tear out like still fighting mm -hmm. and then you step back and you everything slips and you fall right because your knee can't it's gone yeah you know that's what i mean when i say tragic oh I see what you're or if you're like winning the winning the fir the fight mm -hmm. and then unfortunate yeah 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 so it's more unfortunate and then your identity stripped away but again, yours is private, hers is public. But at least yeah, you understand it's what it's like to uh -huh. not be that person who you you counted on you being that person. Yeah. It was part of your shield that you put on to go through the day. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So her persona. Um, she was damn good at it, too. And then it's like stripped away. 